Don't get tricked into buying expensive forms of creatine, and here's why. Almost all of the studies of creatine supplementation use creatine monohydrate, and the reason is simple. At this point, it's the most cost-effective and best understood. We know it's effective, and it's got strong bioavailability. But how much is needed? Well, there used to be an idea that people who are starting out with creatine should take a loading dose of about 20 grams a day for a few weeks. This dose would rapidly saturate their muscles and offer a faster rate of improvement. But doing that increases the chance of tummy upset, so I recommend 5 grams a day to my patients. That's the same dose that both my grandma and I take. So for most people, that's the perfect dose. It will saturate the muscles, but just over a longer time horizon, with less chance of tummy upset. It's also the dose that I included in the new Microvitamin Plus powder. But just because my grandma and I take a supplement, does in no way mean that you should as well. But a word of caution here, there's one type of patient that I see in my clinic who I don't recommend should take creatine. I don't recommend that people with severe kidney problems take it. So early on there was a worry that creatine could damage our kidneys, and here's why. Creatine is converted to creatinine, and testing the blood levels of creatinine is one way to measure kidney function. So if a person is taking creatine, their blood creatinine levels will go up, and this makes it artificially look like their kidney function isn't functioning correctly. Think of your kidneys like a traffic officer. Creatine is converted into creatinine, which is like extra cars on the road. And when you check the road, the extra cars makes it look like there's a traffic jam and that the officer isn't doing their job well. But the officer is still managing the traffic just fine. Taking creatine just adds more cars, and in this case creatinine, to the road, making it look like there's a problem with traffic control, even when everything is actually okay. So for those with normal kidney function, the evidence suggests that creatine is not a problem. But for patients that I see in the clinic with significant kidney disease, we either reduce the dose or stop supplementing.